Hey guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up automatic email forwarding in Gmail, right? So let me go ahead and open up one of my Gmail account here, right? And inside my Gmail, all I have to do is just simply click on the setting and give you here on the top right hand side and go to all settings. Now, once the all setting loads, guys, you want to go to the option at the top that says forwarding and pop slash IMAP, right? Click on that, guys and you want to add a forwarding email. So you want to click this button here and you want to type that forwarding email. Now I'm going to type an email address. Now once you add the email address that you want to forward this email to guys, you want to go ahead and click next. Then you'll have this pop-up box here that comes here guys. And guys, because I have two-factor verification set up, this has given me a number as you can see on the screen. So it's pop up on my mobile and ask me to accept. In other cases, if you do have this set up, this will ask you to enter your phone number and it will send you a code that you need to enter here and you just need to accept and confirm it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and accept this on my phone and I'm gonna select the 77 that it asks me here and this is going to do a confirmation on my phone. Now the next thing I have to do is just simply proceed and here you can see that it says that it sent a confirmation link to my second email address. I need to click OK. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump to my second email and as you can see here, I have the email request here to confirm to receive email from my next account so i'm going to click on this and open that and here you can see that i have the link here that i need to click it says to allow this email address to automatically forward emails i need to basically click on this link so i click on this link and i'm going to simply click confirm now once i do that that's all i need to do from this email address i just need to simply jump back to my second email address guys and let me go in and refresh and now you can see that I've refreshed and it has it set up. Now, by default, it is set to disable the forwarding, but to have this turn on, all you have to do is just simply click forward a copy and you want to ensure that the email address is selected that you want to forward the email to. So this is basically it. And as you can see as well, you can remove if it is in use, right? But you just need to ensure that it is selected and now you can choose what happened, right? You can keep a copy of the email in the inbox. You can mark it as a copy and read. You can archive the copy you can delete the copy now as best practice i would like to keep a copy in the inbox right and that's all you have to do guys once you do that just simply click save and that's all there is to it so whatever email come to this inbox here once i do that it will basically jump here so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna simply send a test email to myself right so all i have to do is just simply click compose and i'm gonna simply put my email address there I'm gonna put the subject, just write sub, and I'm gonna simply write sub in the subject here, and I'm gonna just write testing, right? Now what I'm gonna do, just simple click send, and send an email to myself. There you got it, right? So I've sent the email to myself as well, and if I jump to my next email, as you can see, I've sent two emails there. If I jump to my second email, and I simply refresh, guys, you will see that I received the email, and here you'll see, I have the email if I open it you can notice that the email has come from my second inbox here and this is a full proof to see that it's working this is my second account you can see it here and if I go back to this account here guys you can see that the copy is also there with the same email and that's all there is to it guys very easy very simple how you can easily set up email automatic forwarding from one gmail account to the next now guys, I really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do, go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're seeing the channel for the first time, well, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I'm Anjo and I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much and see you next time.